hello hello tail queen here please like subscribe to my um youtube channel star card tarot let the star card guide you we're going to be starting it off with surrender messages for scorpio mid-may reading remainder of may sorry i think i titled mid-may it is the remainder of may my bad <clears throat> i have to change that so anyway what does Scorpio need to surrender? So as you know, I'm reading energy. So take the energies, how they resonate. Okay. Um, roles are reversible. So um, place yourself where you, where you see yourself. Okay. Place your situation. Place yourself as you see yourself in the situation. Take the messages. If they resonate for you, you have free will to take it or not take it. Okay. Um, I And do understand as well. that um no energy is set in stone it can change very it, it, it can change after <laughs> this reading okay so you have surrender to um denial accept people um situations exactly how they are okay so if you know something and you're trying to i guess lie to yourself about it be honest with yourself okay make clear decisions about um be honest with yourself about what you're denying all right, spirit, guides, ancestors, angels, come down with probable messages for Scorpio. Remainder of May, what does Scorpio need to surrender to? Scorpio energy, what's going on with Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter. Spirit, what's going on with Scorpio? Okay, you guys have surrendered to the idea of fixing someone. So, um... It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his, his or her own healing. Okay? So take that message. Receive it. If you want to leave it on the table, then leave it on the table. All right, Spirit. One more card for uh, what does Scorpio need to surrender? Remainder of May. I hope y'all are all doing well. Surrender to resentment. All right. So it looks like um, you probably were in denial about a situation. Maybe you felt like you can fix someone. And now you have resentment towards that person because they didn't, um, you know, they didn't change for you. Um, you cannot control someone's journey. So hopefully the lessons that, um, uh, the lessons that needed to be learned were learned there in that situation. All right, we're going to be reading from the Light Series deck and the uh, the um, Spacious Tarot, which I left one card over here. <laughs> I'm going to clarify with the Spacious Tarot. Okay. All right, what messages do we have for Scorpio? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Spirit, come down with probable messages. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. What do we have here? Spirit, what do we have for Scorpio? I ask to be the conduit. Come through with clear and concise messages. Spirit, what's going on with Scorpio? Alrighty, let's see. You guys knew an ending was coming with the lover I see here. You guys sensed it was coming. You do have Scorpio energy here with the death card. I do feel like an ending came and then you could have possibly a new beginning came with a lover. Or you're looking to connect with a lover that you had an ending with. You're being strategic about connecting with a lover that you had an ending with. Yeah, I do feel like um, an ending came that you knew about. I think you have some regrets that you allowed it to last as long as it did or some regrets about it. Um, the regrets look like it's burdening you. Yeah, you feel emotionally burdened by... Uh, I, I feel like we're just really trying to go within and see how we could have changed it. Or we knew this was going to happen. How did we allow it to happen? And now we're allowing our emotions to flood in and burden us and cripple us. Yeah, we feel some type of way about this ending. 
and it's like we want it back I, maybe you feel a sense of betrayal that this person could have walked away we're th thinking about this lover a lot we could be bored because of the quarantine here we're trying to be strategic about bringing this lover back into our life you could be dealing with a fire sign here leo sagittarius aries you can be dealing with um a pisces here as well Yeah, it looks like we didn't it looks like we didn't want this ending to happen for real. There's some sneakiness going on here. Because we feel down and out about the relationship, it looks like we're trying to be strategic about it. But at the same time I see you're trying to like relax your thoughts and like just let it go as well. I just keep getting, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. This person could have been, I, I didn't see the three of pentacles here, but this person could have been very well, this could have been a different race. You guys could have been dating someone of a different race, or you guys could have been dating someone that had an age um, gap. We're really thinking about this lover and the memories of the lover how things used to be and this could be a friend as well it could be that you lost a friend and you guys are wanting to reconnect with your friend because the ending came here trying to be strategic but also trying to really calm down your thoughts as well like i feel like what is the point of going through this strategic plan maybe you're thinking about reaching out to them or asking someone about them but then we're also sitting there thinking like why why should i do that let me just rest my thoughts but then it's like we get bored Maybe you feel like you can't be alone. There's only a few cards I want to clarify here. Clarify this. Um, clarify this high priestess. Oh my goodness. Clarify this high priestess. So I'm going to clarify this card for you guys. It looks like you need to center yourself to get away from these emotions, the emotional regret here. Clarify the high priestess. Mm, okay. So right now we're trying to be okay alone. We're trying to be okay with building our own garden with self-love, okay? We're going within to try to um, envision ourselves alone. How can I manifest things on my own is what I'm getting here. Clarify the death card. Clarify the death card, spirit. Mm. Yeah, you definitely want this lover to come back in. It's like we're trying to be okay alone, but we want this lover to come back in or this lover keeps coming back in even though it's ended. You know how you end something with someone? But they come, they're so energetic tied. There might be still text messaging going on. Or maybe this person, you guys still try to see each other to see if you can rekindle something or reconcile something. Or someone just is coming in strategic, playing with you, acting like you guys can reconcile something. And it's really, really having you in deep thought here. But you're really trying to rest your thoughts and pretty much rest on the thought of being with this person. I feel like you guys are trying to find a different way to go about it. I'm surprised I don't see, because uh, this is obviously burdening you with the Ten of um, Wands here. And there's just a lot of regret with the in and out and trickiness that's behind it. Scorpio, you guys are known to be possessive um, and uh, manipulative, I guess they say. Or someone could be this energy with you, but I do see someone coming in and out playing games a little bit here. Someone could be like a player or just going in and out. You have... Sword card energy. Clarify this four of cups. Clarify the four of cups, good spirit. Clarify the four of cups. Clarify the four of cups. There's a lot of stuck energy here. Some secrets here. Clarify the four of cups. Mm. So it looks like this 
this relationship could have ended because someone didn't get enough. I feel like someone, you guys just stopped pouring into each other. It wasn't a fair reciprocation, reciprocation on both sides with the Six of Pentacles being in reverse and the Four of Cups. So someone just felt breadcrumbed here with the Four of Cups and um, four, uh, Six of Pentacles. It was just someone wasn't giving enough and eventually you start stop giving as well. You have to really think. And I feel like that's where that denial card came in out. I feel like you have to come up out of denial with this person. What is this Seven of Swords energy smack that? I feel like this whole um, scenario, situation, or story has to do with someone playing games or being sneaky or lying, um, being mani manipulative and being sneaky. But they pretty much got to caught. I feel like their situa the secrets had came to light. Because in this card, you have someone being sneaky and strategic, but at the same time, um, the moonlight is shining down. So, someone could have called and texted you and told you about something, or you could have went through some text message. Someone communicated to you about this person's sneakiness. Seven of Swords, please clarify. Mm. Yeah, so there was competition. So this could have been somebody that you were in competition with that called you and you didn't know you was in competition with and told you about this uh, lover. This is really tricky energy here. This energy is all over the place. Someone is finding themselves and starting to pour into their own garden, but the garden is not as beautiful as they want it to be, but they are starting from scratch and learning to love themselves and going within. I do see that there's still some emotional healing that needs to be done. It looks like at nighttime it probably hits you the most, and when you go into your feelings the most, and you're pretty much trying to come out the energy and release the burden, I just feel like you feel emotionally burdened. Like, it's not an easy thing. Someone packed their bags and left a situation. Someone definitely packed their bags and left a situation. Clarify the Ten of Wands, Spirit. Clarify the Ten of Wands. Clarify the Ten of Wands. Okay, we no longer want to collaborate or someone wasn't collaborating. What I, like I said, with this um, Six of Pentacles, someone just wasn't giving enough at all that you were just short shorthanded someone was just shorthanding you really bre breadcrumbing you someone just wasn't willing to be rooted with you with this three of pentacles someone wasn't um being rooted with you it was just like if we're not gonna collaborate we're, we're, wait if we're not gonna collaborate why am i here type of energy energy what is this um queen of wands representing here please come down with probable messages for scorpio sun moon rising venus jupiter what is this um queen of wands here for what is this queen of wands representing here why is this queen of wands here here i feel like we feel victorious because we left i feel like we had to go within and get our spark back we have to do a lot of thinking about what makes us happy, what brings the fire up on us, on us <clears throat> within us here. Clarify the um, hermit on top of the queen of wands. Clarify this hermit on top of the queen, queen of wands. It looks, it, looks like, it looks like some information was released to us, probably during the quarantine. Um, and it gave us a spark of energy to move forward. But it does look like you're going back and forth between being bored without your lover and feeling some emotional regret. Obviously, coming out of an energy, transitioning out, um, it, you're going to see that overlaps of energy there. Clarify this Hermit card. That's clarifying the Queen of Wands. Spirit, clarify the Hermit card, please, so I can get a clear understanding of why this is here. Mm, yeah, so we decided to, um, we realized who we are. Yeah, we released the burden because someone wasn't willing to collaborate with us. We just didn't feel rooted there. I feel like there was like there's it's, it was just like we I can't grow here. Um, so we decided to move forward and get our spark back, and it did require you going within with this uh, high priestess card and the hermit card on the spread. And when you went within, you were able to receive some information about uh, 
how you wanted to uh, create security and a home life with yourself, especially with the Nine of Pentacles on the spread here. I do see that you uh, have now gotten a better understanding that you can, like you're stepping into your personal power for sure. It's like you probably had an epiphany of what you wanted. Like, this is not it. This is not comfortable for me. This conflict, this this trickiness, going back and forth with someone, then me going into a calm energy, then me going into emotional energy, then me trying to get some get back and be strategic about getting this lover back, and then just realizing that um, you could be in denial about the situation. It looks like... Um, you could just be bored as well without this lover. That's why you're going back and forth about with this emotional upset. Uh, yeah, again, it's like whenever you're transitioning out of a situation, it's never uh, easy. Clarify the four of swords here. Clarify. The, it's, it's like you don't even want to think about this person anymore. Like you're over it. Like you just want to get rid of the thought. Because you're tired of feeling the emotion. You're tired of wanting to get get back. Like it, it's just over what you like. You feel like at this point in time you have better shit to do. Like stability, home, all that stuff. It's like I got better shit to do. I got, I got, I just have to take care of my home and provide security for myself. I have to get regrounded and rerooted within myself. But I just see a lot of inner conflict with fighting the emotions of regret. You know what I mean? Again, this is very common energy when you're transitioning away from someone. Just going back and forth. Because I'm currently doing that right now. Like, do I want this? I want this person and praying for this person to never come back and just be like, baby, I miss you. Where you at? You know, text them sporadically. You know, I miss you. And then texting, you know, I can't fucking stand you type shit. That's the energy that I'm getting from this. Um, and it's just, again, feeling burdened by this person. Or things weren't rooted. You, things didn't grow the way that you thought they would grow as a family. Like, someone was collaborating, again, with the Six of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles on the board here. I do see that someone's getting breadcrumb and things wasn't growing in the direction that you were told. Like... Or uh, that you hope for. A lot of times we do like to tend to fill in the blanks for each other. Oh, happy birthday, babe. Yeah. Yeah, I would just, I would recommend, and this is, you know, free will, you know, to continue to understand that these emotions are perfectly natural. Uh, it is hard, the polarity of you, of holding on to something that you love and you wanted to grow and that you, you wanted home life stability with a person um, that wasn't able. It, the crazy part is that this person is either, I don't feel like I see this person's energy here, except for like in the two of cups and the explorer of wands. So this person could definitely be a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, uh, Aries. Or this person could be like a Pisces, Cancer, uh, or Scorpio. Again, I do see either someone is uh, an age gap or someone is uh, of different race here. Um, I just feel like right, right now we're trying to fly above the bullshit and we have our guards up about f coming uh, flying above the bullshit. I really do feel that. Like we just like on some... Like, we're over the emotions. We're over the polarity of our emotions. We're over the up and down. We're just like, I don't got time for that. I just really got time. Like, we're trying to expand and build our confidence up as being a secure person on our own. Being financially stable on our own. Building, because, I mean, honestly, <laughs> this is not typically how the garden looks in the tarot. So, this in this deck, I feel like someone is just getting their garden going. Like... <laughs> The garden usually is so beautiful. It's just so beautiful, right? It She usually has like a big garden. And this is just like one little <laughs> planet. Nonetheless, you know, we're getting there. The fact that we're trying to build upon that energy is good. You know what I mean? So I would, I, I see that a lot of hard lessons were learned over time. Because you have Saturn here, Father Time. Uh, Saturn's all about discipline, hard lessons learned over time, uh, boundaries, restrictions, um, being able to set the, those and understanding 
uh, what it will look like if someone else enters our life and what is the requirement, right? So now we learned in 2020 that we have to meet people at the standard that they're at and not fill in the blanks for them and then be in denial and then kind of block off what they're showing us. No, we need to be fully aware of what someone is showing us and presenting us at every moment. Are they being consistent constantly with their actions, through their actions, through their expression of love? Um, concern or emotion showing up emotionally for us we have to honor who they are um, because at the end of the day um, you you cannot put the blame on someone else because you have the power to allow someone in your circle right you have the power to allow someone in your energy field and you choose to have this person there you choose to um, not set the boundaries that you need to set to allow this person to still maneuver in this tricky ass way I do feel like that is their energy as well. The Seven of Swords, being sneaky, doing weird shit. That's my weird shit energy, just doing weird shit. Why the fuck is you sneaking off in the middle of the night with a backpack? What is you doing? Weird shit. Why, who's being sneaky here, Spirit? Who's being sneaky here? Who's being sneaky here? Mm. Someone has some devil energy. So you can also be dealing with a Capricorn. Someone just is um, as a lower energy type of person here. They have some trauma that they need to release. They probably have a gambling addiction, sex addiction, food addiction, or just have some past trauma that they need to address from their childhood. Someone creates their own imprisonment as well. Someone feels like there's no way out of their darkest dra uh, trauma. I mean, we project that. We create our situations. Our mind works as a projection. You know what I mean? So if you feel like um, you can't grow away from your trauma, then you're going to stay in that energy. But if you know that you can evolve out of that and step into your personal power, then you can move away from that energy. You can start moving away from the energy. And this is for your person as well. They can start moving away from that energy and coming into an energy where they're okay and they understand that they're able to develop new beginnings with the lessons that they have learned like now you have a higher knowing because you experience things and the information was released to you synchronicities happen and you were able to obtain knowledge from whoever you pray on or um whoever your spiritual guides are I see that they finally released some information where you know that the best route to take right now uh, would be to go in, into uh, your own stability and security. But I just see your person here is just not wanting to be aware of their demons. They're not allowing themselves to be aware of their demons is what I'm seeing here. For some reason, I need to pull my lover's oracle Sorry, Island Time Wellness Oracle Deck. Spirit, give me some... Somebody felt backstab, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Which is definitely that Seven of Swords energy and devil energy. Spirit, what's going on? Give me some additional messages. What additional messages do we have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Spirit, what additional messages do we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter for the remainder of May 2020? Spirit, come down with probable messages, grand suggestions. All right, so that was way too many cards. Yeah, like I said, this person could maybe calling you or coming in and out, expressing their love, but they're full of shit, I feel like. Or not I feel like, I feel like you feel like they're full of shit. Yeah, they come in and out and they go running. Like with this knight of, um, knight of swords, yeah. You guys could be like still uh, sexually attracted to each other, like still having sex. Usually that could keep, um, yeah, someone's definitely heartbroken, sad, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. 
someone's narcissistic or have narcissistic traits for sure. Uh, but yeah, usually a situation lingers on a little bit longer because um, the passion is still ignited. Like the sex is still good. We're still physically attracted to this person. But then there's also polarity of a sense of disgust because they treated you how they did. And then you start feeling some type of way about yourself because you're starting to feel like, why am I trusting someone who did what they did? Why am I still sleeping with the devil is what I would say. I mean, I felt like that with my baby daddy. I was still a horn dog and would have sex with him but it was it was at a point like kind of disgusting like why am i sleeping with I, I felt like i was sleeping with the devil and the devil card is definitely here so i definitely get that energy like there's still some passion somebody probably comes in and out and as i'm saying this i see the child of wands at the bottom of the deck so i do feel like you could be sexually attracted to each other still what keeps things ling lingering on yeah so that right there that codependency for sex here yeah it looks like you've seen the good in this person like you decided to look past you decided to be in denial right so now we got to take a look at in the mirror at ourselves <laughs> like why did we you know i'm not saying beat yourself up but i'm saying just apply learning like being open with yourself, meeting people at the standard that they show you, um, making, voicing your requirements when it comes to a relationship. What do you require? What are your boundaries? What makes you feel comfortable? Um, I definitely recommend the book, The Four, I'm sorry, Intellectual Foreplay. That is a good book to um, really dig deep on some questions. Eject old footage eject okay so you could be looking at old pictures or just delete the old pictures out your phone like i'm tired of looking at this motherfucker you could be going through your facebook deleting shit yep lust bound like i said you guys are still having sex um you guys i feel like probably seduce each other or you guys could be trying to act like you don't but you do Someone's definitely dreaming of you or you could be having dreams about this person, especially with when you're healing from something. You definitely have a lot of dreams about that. Someone likes your femininity. Yes or no. Hmm. Someone probably wants you to say yes or no. Do you want to be with me? Yes or no. And the answer is a no for me, dog. Yeah. Someone's messaging you trying to, I feel like trying to test the water or gaslight you. Someone's probably trying to test the water or gaslight you to see where you're at. Mm. Someone definitely portrayed themselves as a real deal. Someone definitely portrayed themselves as it. With all this energy and for this to come out, like this is really random for this to come out. The real deal. So you guys could have been married or they could have been talking about married. There was some interference. Somebody was cheating. Oh, yeah. So you could have been like, y'all, you could have got into it with the, uh, y'all could have had uh, messages with a woman going back and forth. Like, yeah. You're definitely um, feeling damaged here. Needing to rebuild emotionally. Uh, emotionally exhausted. Yeah. Again, with this Five of Cups and the Burden card, I see us having to release that emotional pain. For sure. what do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? You and your loved ones are safe. Okay? You and your loved ones are safe. Um, mm, what is that? New moon in Cancer. You know, cancer is all about that um, home life, home security, bringing, bringing in that nurturing motherly energy, protecting their home. Um, yeah. Yes. 
so it says here there's a <clears throat> there's a new start coming in your private life something is rising up and up in connection with people places you hold dearest this can be to do this can be to do with a member of your family i don't like the verbiage in some of this this can have to do with a member of your family or uh or a flatmate so maybe a roommate. Okay, so this can have to do with a member of your family, a roommate, or moving a house. If you're hoping to move forward with something special in, in your private life, this card comes to you as a message that you can do it. If you've been neglecting your family, it's time to reconnect with them. If you've been neglecting yourself, you need to take care of yourself and nurture yourself. <clears throat> if your insecurity is holding you back, that's something for you to work on now. Doing so could bring your heart's desire. Make sure you put family first. Let someone get a bit closer to you. A new st cycle is starting. A new, a new cycle is starting for your children or your child. It's time to review your, your goals. Have they changed? Meditation will help you banish your insecurities. Spending time near wa water will bring you peace and answers. Obviously, Scorpio is very intuitive. So yeah, going to nature and you know, um, and heighten on your heightened your intuitive psychic abilities that you have that you naturally have all right scorpio that is your uh remainder of may reading please like subscribe share comment smack the bell so you can get notifications from me um yeah peace